Tonight, live from R&B's house, we featured a Charlene Brown trio featuring Jamie Hoover on upright bass, Peter Borgia on piano, and Sam Falvo on drums. Each week's live and intimate concert is to benefit Southport's nonprofit organization, Up Your Arts. And now, here's the host of our show, Dr. Raw himself, Lucy and Little Ricky's dad, Ronnie Weinstein. Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Live from R&B's House, where I will be your host this evening. Uh, tonight, this, we're in for a real special treat here. As you know, Live from R&B has been going on for quite some time. This is actually our 27th show that we, we have in Inception here. And this is all about benefiting up your arts. There's intimate live performances <coughs> each week from our house, so to speak, to your house. And it's really been an exciting journey. Each week we're, we're learning, each week we're improving. And Up Your Arts is benefiting from the show at the present time, and we want to keep it that way. So Up Your Arts is a nonprofit organization in the uh, Southport area for the performing and creative arts, and we're looking any way we can to actually support them, especially in the current times that we're in here. And uh, there will be some good news I will be sharing with you a little later on. And of special note tonight, we actually have uh, the jazz trio, the Char Charlene Brown Trio, which will be performing the holiday music of Vince Guaraldi, uh, and that's going to be really special. Some of you might have heard them <coughs> last year. They actually played out live two times. One was at uh, the Remax uh, in Southport, which those that got to see the show really raved about it, and I was very fortunate to have this, this group of musicians play one of our house parties, which was really very special. So we've invited them in this evening, and they were gracious enough to do that, to have an outlet to be able to do that. So we're very, very ex excited about it. And just to uh, introduce the members of the band on piano, we have Peter Borgia. <coughs> and Peter actually uh, is a classically trained pianist, and uh, at, at the time when this had come up, uh, and, and it wasn't a joke, but I was actually asked by M Mr. Hoover here um, if I could take on this role, and I have to tell you, uh, I definitively said no, that would be very impossible for me to do that, but no one else could do it like Peter, and as you could see, the largest, world's largest music stand in the world, as he has like eight sheets of score like written out here that he literally reads and improvises on it in this in this jazz performance here. So Peter, thank you so much for being here. Okay, I'm glad that nice you are you here. Thank, thank you. Thank you and thank Beverly. And, and appreciate, Mark, appreciate that. And thank Barbara for letting her let get you out here friends. this evening, which is, which is spectacular, so we're excited about that. On percussion, we actually have Sam Falvo. And Sam is a percussionist, and Sam has a rock and roll history, but apparently he answered the question correctly when Peter asked him uh, one day when they were hanging out, what is times, right? And so thank you so much to, uh, that you're here, Sam. So how did, how did you uh, find out your way to get into this group here? You had been playing a little bit with Peter? Yeah, exactly, and uh, Peter recommended me to Jamie when Jamie called him up. Fantastic. <laughs> so. That's great, and it's interesting because this, this performance has a lot of uh, brushwork, and it's very rare that you find, uh, particularly those with a rock and roll history, that even have any brushwork in their vocabulary, which is spectacular. And I think you're in for a real treat as that goes along. So he, he on bass, on bass, on the upright bass, we have Mr. Jamie Hoover himself, Mr. Sponge Tone. He's had a lot of inceptions. He's a guitar player. He's a prolific writer. He's a producer. He's, he definitely is a sound engineer and doing <laughs> recording engineer. He, he really does it all here. And so grateful that you're actually here in, in the house, which is, which is wonderful on my part. And you really put this together, okay? Like I say, you reached out to me probably in the fall of 2019. Mm -hmm. And what was your inspiration behind this project? I bought the bass... Uh, the upright bass, I've always wanted one. I sort of had fantasized about maybe a Celtic band or something, but I saw Johnny and Spence play uh, their bluegrass. Their bluegrass, thing, sure. And I, they were great. And I just said, if I get a bass, can I play with you all? You know, so, so that was it. And, and that was the first time you tackled the upright bass. Yeah, I've been playing bass, you know, yeah. for years. Um, but 
and it's same strings, fortunately. You know, it just doesn't same have any frets. Uh, but mine has fret dots now. You know. It's very cool. And the name of your bass is Charlene. Oh, the name uh, of the okay. Band. And Charlene is in the house, so to speak. Okay. Well, we certainly appreciate it. So I, I wanted to uh, get down to the music side of things. Now, this is really just another challenge for you. Okay. And yeah. and you're all about playing by ear. Mm -hmm. is that, that's pretty much your history there. Yep. Okay, which, which unbelievable. Like I say, when you listen tonight, when you have a jazz trio, you're really able to focus in on all of the, dish, the different parts of this jazz combination. And each one is very specific, and it all comes together as all jazz comes together to make a, a, a single beautiful uh, work of art. And that's what we're looking forward to tonight. Now, tonight's performance is actually brought to us by uh, a sponsor, Dunes Mercantile. And Dunes Mercantile is a beautiful shop. It's a gift shop that's on the island that you really need to check out, especially the holiday times and everything else. It's done really well. They have everything from jewelry to art pieces. And now they even have a complete line of instruments of guitars. So you need to check it out. That's uh, Danny and his lovely and beautiful wife, Jackie Del Preet. So make sure you get a chance to go in there and, and check them out. So without further ado, and giving me a moment to change hats, mm -hmm. okay, I, I give you the Charlie, Charlene Brown Trio performing the holiday music of Vince Guaraldi. Yeah. Well, Pete, I'm going to let you kick it off, bro.
people out every year when Christmas comes around, uh, just because it's one that just, it's, a, it's like the first one to come out and the last one to go up. Um, oh, 112, okay. And so I love it. And, and one thing behind this was that I figured when I bought this bass, if I just went over this music every day, and I would learn this guy's parts because this guy's whoever this guy is and I don't know his name I should I'm stupid but anyway you learn his parts it's the bomb so it's been really good training for me that between that and the bluegrass uh, yeah yeah a lot of fun we start in July and get together you know <laughs> in the hot and do this but it's uh, definitely worth it all right so my little drum
guess this is a money shot song for this uh, little deal. This is the one that everybody knows. So you feel free to dance around. And Four, four, Lioness and Lucy. You ready to rock? We got Christmas time is here next, and then skating. Okay. Whichever one you want to do is fine with me, but I. I okay. okay, then let me. Three quarters and one. Maybe five. This is impossible to do. We would like to do something that's impossible to do. Ready to rock?
Yeah, man. <clears throat> Fantastic, guys. That's that's really unbelievable. What a treat to have this in our in our own home studio here. It, it's it's spectacular. So yeah, the, the Charlene Brown trio. You guys are, are killing it, and, and I'm so grateful. Grateful. It sounds great out there. Oh, and everybody is out listening, and they're all giving some great accolades as to you guys sounding, and they're really thankful to be able to hear this. So we're grateful for that. So a few things, Up Your Arts. Um, <coughs> Up Your Arts has a, a beautiful stuff going on right now. They actually have a brand new website, and the website is spectacular. And this website is brand new, and it has a list of all upcoming scheduled music events. Uh, live performances, so I, I encourage and I was told to please get all the musicians that are having gigs coming up to send the information to Up Your Arts. They'll uh, be able to get things posted for you and we'll cultivate that live music thing happening uh, one more time, which we're really ex ecstatic about. They've entered into phase two of Save the Hall, you all, which is another great aspect here, so we have that uh, old uh, building that we're converting, and it's going to be p not only for performing arts, it's going to be for creative arts. And uh, I know, Jamie, you've actually been you know, very much active in that side of things, in the recording studio side of the teaching from yeah. that. How's that. How has that been rolling? Well, you know, I mean, it's just coming along as it is. The, the Bonnie and, uh, you know, John Keeper, everybody is just so active with it. Um, it's a really cool building, and it has a belfry which is, you know, well, so the bats in pretty the blessed as far as I'm concerned. Nice. It's got a whole element of cool built right into it. So, so it's, it, it, it's everyone has knows what's going to be going on there once that building is completed. We'll, it's we'll just be able gonna, to get the, it, that's we'll be able to get the Hyatts and stuff. People coming through, you know, like uh, between stops. We'll be nice. able to get cool acts, you know. Well, that, King Mackerel and the Blues are running. <laughs> Bob Lind. So, so that, that's, that's something that we have coming up. And it's some other <coughs> exciting news that starting in March, right now, American Fish Company is actually scheduling for March 4th to be the re-inception of the weekly jam session. It's a Thursday night, and it's scheduled for March 4th. And uh, I will actually personally be hosting that evening. Uh, I was asked to do that, and I'm, I'm very thrilled and excited about that. Yeah. Keep it down in the back, keep it down in the back. Um, and so one of the things, when that comes about, we'll actually be transitioning live from R&B's house to Tuesday nights. So uh, it's not gonna go away because we have the like, very intimate performances from our living room to your living room and we wanna maintain that. We wanna maintain that and uh, my, my uh, person in charge of photography over there is giving me hand signals. Vanna. So Vanna, yeah, <laughs> Vanna's giving me hand signals. So, so every everything is is really looking up. We're we're excited about it. I personally have uh, a gig with the Christine Martinez band in March. There, I have a a, a duo gig with Rev. Uh, so things are are starting to pop, and we're excited about that. And everyone's been looking forward to 2021. And uh, thank you, American Fish Company, for opening up the door for musicians to kick this off and start it off. So once again, we're really excited, uh, excited about that. So without any further ado, we're gonna continue on with the uh, second half of our program with the Charlene Brown Trio. All right. Thank you guys. All American Fish is so great because there's, if, if you're playing and there's water sloshing underneath you, life is good as far as I'm concerned, you know? Yeah, yeah. All right, Christmas time is here. Ain't it? Yeah. Well, we'll we'll keep you. Thank you. 
at home for this. Um, I'm not going to sing because i got to play. So if Elena was here, I would make her do it. Yeah. Hark. Hark, hark, hark into he. That's right, yeah. y'all sing this is a uh, this is the one where they're dancing like this on each other uh, okay had to give you a little example of it there uh, okay Christmas is coming
This guy over here is a monster piano player. He really is. And he, he's one of those guys that like practices, you know, still four hours a day and, to, and more than that, you know. And, uh, and he has this big, beautiful grand piano at home. So oh, to be a fly on the wall there. But he can play this next song, so we're going to let him play. It's also in the movie. Uh, and it's pronounced how, Pete? For Elise. Pull your mic over there so they can hear you. It was composed around 1803, 1804. It was for one of his students. It's actually called a bagatelle in, in Italian. That's an intimate piece, not a piece of bread. So um, he really, he, he was teaching somebody about three eighths time in, in the A minor key. And he did a great job of spreading out the, the uh, arpeggios and had some great stuff in it. It was a very popular piece up to today. And it was written back in 1804, about 200 and some odd years ago, th almost 300 years now. So. I really have to do the whole thing on this, huh? Yeah, I think you should, think you should, because you kill it. Christmas song, and we're going to let Pete kind of start off on that too, and then we'll come in, give him a little help. Not that he needs it.
right. Well, we really have one more thing to do. Are we, are we doing any more announcements here? Uh, no. Hey, look at them. <laughs> Let's see. Let me get Mona ready here. We're going to do a uh, green sleeve. What kind of this? This is, we did the record actually note for note or as close as we could get and also um, in order like it is or at least on the one that I've got. And on the one I've got, they did another take of this song. So we're going to play on another <laughs> take of it. And this is green seal. Somebody stole what? Green seal. It's gone. <laughs> oh, it's called uh, What Child Is This, right? Or What child is this? There you go. There you go. We couldn't get a page turner because of COVID. <laughs> we can blame every, everything on COVID. Right? I'm so glad we got to do this this year because it was like we weren't going to be able to play this thing this year. You know. So thanks everybody for hanging out, tuning in, tuning in. That's right.
That was really awesome, guys. Thank you so much. That was really special. We actually uh, want to just thank everybody again. Once again, we're live from R&B's house, so please like us on Facebook, on YouTube, subscribe, and ring that bell so you get notifications. We've got a bunch of things coming up. This was our final show for 2020. Uh, January 7th, we have uh, Carla Edstrom and Mike Biscop, uh, which will be performed for us. And remember, in January, the Live from R&B house band is going to be uh, performing for the first time at the end of the month. Each month, we're going to have a solo performer coming up and join the house band. So we're really looking forward for that here. And I'd like to uh, give credit because this production could not get done just by one person here. So on stage here with me right now, I have the actual, is our official stage manager, Lucy. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd like to have uh, the videographer, photographer, camera crew come up here with our assistant stage manager, <laughs> which we have little, little Ricky. Remember, it's a Southern thing, little Ricky here. So we all have this going on here. So we want to thank everybody here for joining us. And uh, we look forward to it. So guys, thank you so much. Uh, Beverly, it's, it's, I, I couldn't do it without you. And uh, we got a new camera system here. And I have to tell you, the learning curve is really ramped up. And she was really spectacular on that this evening. And it's just going to keep getting better and better. It's so a high tech power. It's a high tech show. It and is. We're, we're, we're getting on it. So uh, we really appreciate that. And now uh, enough of this lollygagging. So uh, thank you. you <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Merry yeah. Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays. And, and yeah. so, so the crew's got to get back to the show to take us out. Remember, up your arts. This is the holiday season. It's time for giving. So perhaps reach into the pocket tonight and find that link for donating for up your arts. It's a great cause. And special thank you for all of us. And uh, uh, Peter's in a rush to get home. So that's, that's what you're seeing and hearing in the back. So. So we love all of you live from R&B's house. Check us out, Facebook, YouTube. Remember, all of the replays are there for you to go back in and watch. YouTube will be the hot. <laughs>